<coughs> right then, here we are in my beautiful kitchen. Uh, I'm making this mostly for my uh, blog on Tumblr, so check it out at uh, 24 Hours Wargaming. Uh, check out 24 Hours Wargaming. It's a blog about Warhammer uh, Wargaming, basically. Right, anyway. This here is my um, Tyranids monster box. I keep all of my big monsters that I can't fit in my cases in. Um, I got two new additions today which inspired me to make this video. Um, so, shall we open it? Yes, I think we should. Right. Got a few of these things. Padding. Uh, we got flying base. Bubble wrap. Right. Uh, so that's my box. I'll give you two seconds. To see if you can guess what's in there. Okay. Time's up. Right. If you guessed right, give yourself a pat on the back. Right then. Sorry, I'm on my hands and knees because I'm on the kitchen floor. Ugh. Right then. First out of the box we got this. Let's see what this is. Oh, a convex. He was one of the new additions for today. Okay, that's probably a bit better for you. Side tail, crushing claws, scything talons, big ass tongue. Yeah. Let's put him there. Does that look alright? Yeah. Next we got Whatever this is. Oh, swan wolf. It's not exactly a monster, but he's too big to go in my case, so. Yeah. Uh, this guy, as you might have guessed, is the leader of my army. Swan wolf, four bone sabers. Pretty much standard, really. I love the work I did on these sorts, I love them. So, yeah, that's him. Got him on Friday, actually. Today is Sunday. So I had a pretty lucky week. Pretty good week. Put him up. Nah, let's just line them up. Then we got... Oh, I'd hope we'd get this one next. So we don't just get lots of car fixes. Right, this one... I know it's not on its base, that's because it broke off and I like it without the base. And I, yes I know, to have it on a base means you can use it in uh, tournaments, but I don't care. Alright, we got my Tervagon. They're giving birth to grunts. So, yeah. That's her. She can go over... In the corner there. Oh, that's a bunch of gene stealers. Ugh. Now we've got this one. Ah, my second card fix, which I also got today. As the card effects now come in two packs. Yeah, they still do the one pack, single packs, but I like you save money by getting the two, so I got this guy and that guy today. Ready built. I love it. Once again with Scything Talons and Crushing Claws and a uh, Scythe Tail. Really cool. I took out the, in both of these, took out the little nubs that used to build them so I could do my own poses because he's sort of standing up a bit more than hunched over. So, yeah. Uh, I will be uh, doing some tactics videos. Yeah. on these models if you would like to see that uh, 
I mean, I'm not going to make a model for no reason. Alright, now we got my final Carnifex. This one's actually painted. This is the first, excuse me, big model of my army. He's missing uh, part of his signing talon and I can't find it, so. Yeah, he's painted. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of dodgy spots that I need to touch up. Uh, yeah, he's he's got signing talons and crushing claws again. Uh, yeah, that's him. He's pretty cool, I think. So, yeah, I've got a squad of three rather nice looking Carnifexes. And before you try to correct me and say that the plural of Carnifex is Carnify, you are wrong. I googled it. Um, now we've got... that's juicy. Now, if you're a big lover of big models and... Oh, I'm not going to let you see that label. You might have seen that already, but... This is triangular shaped. You might have guessed what this is. But some of you might not have. Oh, I'm just going to unwrap this off camera because it would be bloody awkward to do on camera. It's in the Games Workshop bag, so I'm being loyal. I'm not using Asda's or Tesco's. Uh, right, just get him out without breaking him. There we go. Now, this is what the flying base is for, so you probably already know what this is. Just gonna put them on the base. There we go. It is a harpy. So yeah. Excuse me. Very sorry. This is a uh, amazing model. Amazing. Suit's really detailed in it's. It's got these nice fins. Uh, which uh, I don't know what they're for, but they obviously mean something. Got the nice little horns on the head, and the long tongue, and the two big cannons. He's awesome because when he flies over models, he he drops bombs on them, uh, which take a large blast template. I uh, can't remember what strength, but uh, if it misses, he drops spore mines to run around the battlefield, which is what I think is pretty awesome. So yeah, that's him. I think that's it for my monsters. Uh, zoom out a bit so you can see them all. I mean, I'm going to have more eventually, obviously, but I think the next edition is going to be a Harris Specs, I believe. Uh, yeah, then we've got the Gene Steelers in there. I don't know why they're in there. Oh yeah, because I this is basically my army, these and 16 Gene Steelers. Uh, so yeah, pretty good monsters, I believe. I've Taking out, taking out many, many Vindicators with that Carnifex. So, yeah, thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to keep watching my. Oh, sorry. Just keep watching, keep checking out my my uh, blog for. Uh, random updates of my wargaming experiences. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, Ian over and out. Yeah.